Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my How I Edit My Instagram Pictures video. This is such a highly requested video. I'm just going to take you guys through how I edit my Instagram pictures. I'm going to put my phone on screen and show you exactly what I do. There are so many different ways to edit your Instagram pictures. Like, if you just type in YouTube how to edit Instagram pictures, so many videos come up. Everyone has their own ways, everyone has their own preferences, so if you don't like the way I do it, then that's fine because there's so many ways to do it. Find your own way and be unique. That's the only way you're really going to succeed. You won't really succeed by copying someone else, but I'm going to show you ways to edit your pictures to make them look good. The first thing to have a good picture is obviously you need a good quality picture. I shoot all of my pictures on my Canon PowerShot G7X. It's a brilliant camera. I am going to upgrade soon though to a better camera because I've kind of like reached my limit with that camera. I absolutely love that camera but I want like even better pictures now. So I am going to invest in a new camera soon. I'm thinking about the Sony A6000. I don't know if you've got it or if you've heard of it. Let me know in the comments section if you have any experience of it and what you think of it. I like that one because you can change the lenses so I think it will give really good pictures. I do know people that take pictures on their iPhone and that gives really good pictures too but for me I don't really like iPhone pictures. I prefer camera pictures so it's just your preference really and how good you are at taking pictures on your iPhone because if you're really good then obviously it will be a good picture. So let's get straight into how I edit my pictures. Can I just tell you guys I just filmed the whole video and forgot to record my phone. I'm so annoyed right now, so I'm gonna have to redo it all. So I'm gonna put on a smile and redo it. Never mind. Got two pictures that I'm gonna edit for you guys. So, first photo. Let me get it up. Because I've already done this, this might be quite hard. No, it won't. Here's the old pictures, it's fine. They've, they're saved in there. That one might not be. Never mind. So here's the first photo I'm gonna edit for you guys. I'm going to use, just checking it's recording because I don't want to, yeah. I'm going to use the white and tall on Facetune. I absolutely love the white and tall on Facetune, it is so good. So I'm going to whiten my top. I want anything that's already white basically. And anything you want to brighten. I don't put white over colours though. Because it literally just desaturates them. Like if I whitened that pink, it would just not be pink anymore. So I'm going to put a bit of white in my hair because all the lighting makes it a little bit yellow. So that is all I do on Facetune. So I'm going to save that photo right there. And then going to go to Snapseed. And I'm going to open my latest image. And I'm going to... So on this image you can see the background needs to be lightened. It's very dull. It's very dark. And I don't really like it. So I'm going to lighten the background using the brush tool on Snapseed. So I'm going to just use the exposure and go over the whole background. And as you can see it just makes it look so nice and so bright. There Maybe need a bit more there. There we go. And then I'm also going to tune the image on Snapseed. So I'm going to add a bit of brightness, not too much. You never want to over edit, like if you put too much brightness it just looks ridiculous. So never over edit, remember that, it just looks so obvious. And too over processed. I'm going to add a bit of contrast. They always add a bit of contrast to my photos. A little bit of saturation. I'm then going to go on details on Snapseed. Add a bit of structure. And also sharpen it right up. There we go. So I'm just going to sharpen that. I am going to save that photo. And then I'm going to go into ViscoCam. There it is. And there's so many different filters on ViscoCam. Okay, no one really uses Instagram filters anymore. 
they're a bit rubbish so all the filters that I use on Visco Cam, there's so many um, T1 is a really cute filter, S1 I really like A5 is a good filter, B5 is good for black and white C1, F2, I love F2 for this picture, Bio2, stop texting me for this picture I'm going to go with S1 so I'm going to bring the filter right down so I do like my pictures to look quite natural and not like heavily filtered so I'm going to put it on at 2, sometimes I maybe even 1 I might go for 1.5 for this picture like so then you can add all this but I've already done it on Snapsy so you don't really need to do it again so I'm going to save that and then to upload onto Instagram go onto Instagram and upload there and go on colour I sometimes add a bit of a pink filter over my pictures just so they all like match so it fits in like kind of a theme and there we go that is how I do that picture so moving on now to the second picture so on this picture I've whitened the background as you can see I've already done it on the last rerun of the video when I thought I was filming and I wasn't so as you can see I've just got the whiten tool and gone over the background so that's after and that's before so that's all I've done so it's very easy to do you just use that whiten tool right there at the bottom with the mouth on so I'm going to save that to my camera roll I'm then going to go to Snapseed, open latest image so for this picture I don't really need to brighten the background um, it's already white enough because it was such a well lit picture so you can see it's so much easier to edit well lit pictures rather than badly lit photos so natural light is the best lighting 100% so I'm going to go on to tune image add a bit of brightness to this remember guys not too much go on to contrast add a bit of contrast add a little bit of saturation I'm then going to go on to details add a bit of structure add some sharpening and there we go that image is saved taking it to ViscoCam I'm going to open up the image and I am then going to see what filter I like A5 is a good filter so A5 pulled down it looks like that so it gives like a blue tint if you like blue tints I do sometimes but I'm probably going to go with F2 for this picture F2 on about maybe 2 and then yeah you don't really need to add any of this I've already added all that in Snapseed I think I've just said that why am I repeating myself? <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to save that photo and they are ready to be uploaded. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I will do my best to answer you guys. As you can see, those pictures were very good quality anyway, so it's much easier to edit a good quality, well lit photo. It just makes your life so much easier and the picture is going to look so much better afterwards. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.